Hey there, millennials, and welcome to the next episode of Ask a Recruiter. I'm really excited about this one because I feel like it'll be able to give you a really good insight into the mind of a recruiter and really help you in your job search, right? So in today's Ask a Recruiter, the question is, what are recruiters really looking for in a top candidate and how are they assessing candidates, right? So I have five of the top things that I'm really looking for um, when I'm looking through a candidate's resume or during an interview, wherever we are in that process, phone screens, right? What am I really looking for in a top candidate, okay? So I have five things, you know, obviously there are more, but I think these are the biggest things and if you can really um, hone into those when you are interviewing or putting together your resume. Um, I think it'll help you go a long way. So if you don't know me, of course, my name is Mercedes. I'm a career coach. I'm a career strategist. And so I help black millennial professionals um, really get the things they need together uh, to really make sure that they are successful in their job search um, and that they're able to land their dream jobs. Cool. So here it goes. Number one is in a top candidate, I'm looking for vision, right? And so for somebody who's in management, leadership, um, or even if they're an executive, I'm, I wanna understand what vision they might have for um, the company, the role, where they really see themselves as it relates to this position, and also the long-term uh, vision of who they will be leading, right? And so a great candidate can really hone in on that. Um, they can understand that from just understanding uh, from research or over the course of their interview, the questions that they ask and the way that they respond. Um, you can really tell that they understand what the vision will be. Um, if you're someone who's not leading others, you should still be able to understand what the needs of the department is, the needs of the customers or the stakeholders, whatever that is, um, as it relates to the position that you're working in, um, you should be able to kind of highlight those and have a unique understanding of what is needed to be successful in that role and what you would envision that position really looking like, whether it's policies or procedures or best practice or the best way to do things, your ability to really convey that vision, whether you're an executive or entry level is really going to help you stand out as a candidate um, and really position you as one of the top candidates if you do it well. So next time before you go into an interview, think about what your vision might be in that role. Cool. Number two is track record. So recruiters are really looking to see that this individual has experience or a proven track record in this area. Um, so if you're pivoting, um, that doesn't have to be a track record in that specific job, in that specific role, right? Um, it is about whether or not you have done this before and whether you can continue to do it successfully. Um, and so one of the ways that you can really do that is making sure that you're telling stories that show overall how you've already successfully done some of the things that are required of this role and that you show potential to be even uh, greater or do bigger or better things, right? So number two is track record. Uh, number three is skills, right? So just hard skills. So I have people that like apply to positions, whether it's a resume or whatever, and they don't really highlight the skills as it relates to the role, right? So if, you, if you're if you applying, I always use this example, if you're applying for a project management role and you don't have project management on your resume at all, and maybe you've done a lot of successful um, things in that realm, uh, whether you've managed projects successfully, but you don't really have that skill highlighted. I mean, it's kind of like, well, what are you doing here? Why are you applying, right? And so half the time, candidates really do have that skill, but they don't highlight it accordingly. And there's another candidate out there that understands how important it is to highlight skills um, because recruiters are looking at hundreds of resumes. Um, depending on what volume of recruitment you do, you might be looking at like, when I was at Max, I might have reviewed three, 400 position, um, excuse me, resumes a day. So just putting that out there is absolutely something that's important to just highlight skills. Um, and that's what I'm looking for in a top candidate, whether or not they check off all the skills. All right, the next one is a value add. Recruiters are always looking for value add. So let's say um, we have candidate A. 
candidate A has these 10 skills that I'm looking for and candidate B also has these 10 skills. But there's something else unique that they bring to the table, right? There's, so there's something really cool or interesting about this candidate that this candidate doesn't have. And so I want you to think about what your unique value add. What is something that is unique to you that you are known for? Um, what is special about you? Something that you've gone above and beyond to do, right? And sometimes value adds aren't huge. Something, sometimes value adds is just like a unique, a unique approach, um, a unique skill set that's not found in other places, right? I talk about unicorn candidates where they have just this very specialized set of skills. And sometimes, even though you don't know it, somebody might be really interested that even though you're in human resources, you have a lot of good marketing skills. <laughs> not saying that about anybody okay no I'm just kidding but that's what I'm saying in general is like think about what your unique value add will be because that is what um, recruiters are also looking for cool so I've told you four things that a recruiter is looking for in a top candidate but also top candidates can have these and we are honestly looking at these to make sure that we don't make a bad hire it's as simple as that number five is a red flag so recruiters are always looking for things that look weird on your resume like why did you hop from job to job here why did you leave here in less than six months um why do you have an employment gap uh why didn't you list your most recent um employer as a reference <laughs> i you know or um why are you currently not employed there's a lot of red flags that show up for recruiters um, or sometimes it's even job titles, okay? Like you were a vice president here and now you're director. Ooh, what happened? Okay, so there's all different things that recruiters look at that could be a red flag. And really they're looking out for long term because they know this candidate has to get through the entire process and they already know people are gonna ask these questions. So those are things to be really mindful of making sure that you control the dialogue around those red flags that you have. Um, and making sure that you are really still positioning yourself in the best light despite those red flags. So, okay. So all in all, from Ask a Recruiter, this is what a recruiter is looking at for their top candidates, and they wanna make sure that the top candidate has all of these things, specifically for me, but I think it's really general to a lot of recruiters, right? Everyone's different. We all have different pre preferences and likes, dislikes in a candidate or application. Um, and we all have different companies that are looking for different things. If you're able to really pull all those things together, um, if you have a great vision, you've told stories about your track record, you highlight your key skills, and you've really identified the value that you can add at the company that you are working at, I think you will do just fine as positioning yourself as top talent. And just make sure you really, you know, Make sure you don't have any of those red flags in there, right? Make sure that you are packaging that in the most appropriate way that you can, right? Because we all have red flags in our job history, right? We're, none of us are perfect. So that's my advice to you from an executive recruiter. You're welcome. If you really struggle with figuring out how to package your skill set to really appeal to employers and how to really stand out as a top candidate from the eyes of a recruiter or a hiring manager, um, I really encourage you to schedule a career consultation with me, right? Just packaging and marketing yourself in a more um, presentable way that's really um, able to highlight you as a professional, how you are unique, what value you will add to a company is going to be the most important thing for your job search, not just your resume, but your interview and how you conduct yourself through the entire interview process. It is key to making sure that you do that in every part of your job search. So let me know if you want to schedule a career consultation. There will be a link below, but you can also reach out to me. All right. So I'll see you all at the next Ask a Recruiter. Bye.